Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change the background inside iPlay CG, an iPhone and iPod application by WCODE, W-K-O-D-E. Search for that in iTunes and you'll find it. So let's start. Here's the default background. Click on Options. Click on Settings. Click on uh, this button here to clear the current background. And there you go. There's nothing there. Now you can add a photo from your photo library in your saved folders or one of your iPod photo photo libraries or photo albums as they call it. So uh, we can drag this around, resize it, make it transparent, rotate it, skew it, and when you when you're satisfied, you can click on save. You can also add more photos. Let's add another one here, and keep adding more and more, as much as you want or as much as your as many as your iPhone or iPod can handle in terms of memory okay and if you need to access the one behind it let's set this one back to one so it's blocking the other two you can use the third button here it's a cycle through button that's your sh basically cycle through all the pictures on your canvas and if you don't like something you click on the trash icon and it's gone okay or you can uh, you can use this uh, this button here and just click on clear images all images they're all gone okay and if there's no image in the back and you hit save it's going to set it back to the default background okay yeah. so let's just put something here let's put this photo here all right, that's good so if you save it right now it's going to combine this photo uh, with the photo in the background okay if you don't want the background you click here and you click on clear background and it's gone and if you click save and that's it that's your background now pretty dull okay so next I'm going to uh, first I'm gonna set it back to the default one so erase the custom background I'm going to grab some photos online hit go to Safari and if you find a photo you really like all you have to do is hold your finger down for half a second or so you get this uh, save image option let's do that so some photos in, pic in Flickr are protected so you can't download them at least not easily okay let's go download another one let's go back let's go back uh, let's go to the next page for example oh that looks like a pretty nice one I think Alright, you click here and go find it. And once you get to the photo, hold it down for a second, save the image. Alright, let's get out of here and check our photos program and see if, it, if they appear. Oh, there they are. We got these two. Perfect. Now let's go back into iPlay CG or iPlay CF. They work the same way. Click on Options, Settings. Let's clear the current background and add those pictures we downloaded. I really like this one. That's pretty cool. So that's my new background. I can leave it just like this or I can import another one. Like this one. I can put this little symbol here. I can add another one. I'll add this one here. I'll make it smaller. Match the size with the other one. I just have these little pictures here and there. Make it, make it bigger. I even use this one as a background. It's a nice background too. But for now, we're gonna use this as not the background, but the decoration. Okay. When you're done and you're satisfied, maybe I'll, I'll fade those out a little bit because I don't want them to be too strong. Fade them out. All right. When you're done, click on save. And now it's your background and it's also saved to your camera row if you have an iPhone. If you have an iPod, it's called Saved Photos. Alright, and that's how it looks like. Actually a very nice background. And let's go into our Photos program and confirm that we have saved this one. Look, this is the one we made. 
And from this program, from the photos program, you can email it to your friends. Or set it as a wallpaper. On the iPhone, you can email it.